Genesis chapter 5 and verse 21 onwards. Enoch lived 65 years and became the father of Methuselah. Then Enoch walked with God 300 years after he became the father of Methuselah, and he had other sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that we can look at the life of your people. We can look at Enoch and Noah and Daniel and be reminded that these people walked with God. And as we go to your word now, would you help us to understand what that really means? That our lives would too also be aligned to walking with you. We need you now, Lord. Help us as we go to your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please take your seats. A few weeks back, we start... Whoa, what happened? Okay. A few weeks back, we began a small series. And what is that series called? Okay. Tell the person next to you because they don't know. Authentic discipleship. Authentic discipleship. Why are you scared of your neighbor? Let me first figure that out. Why are you scared of your neighbor? If you are scared of your neighbor, you are scared of your neighbor. You are scared of your neighbor. Change your neighbor. This is America. Tell your neighbor authentic discipleship. Urdu mein mustanand shagir. That means they are unauthentic. And this we are taking as a self-diagnosis. We're all examining our heart. We are all examining that. Is it right? Is it the way God wants? And so we have been going, and there was a scenario that came to my heart. I put it down. Okay, imagine you got arrested. And over there they said, we're going to charge you if we find out that you're a follower of Jesus. Will it take them a long time to figure that out? Or will they look at you and say, oh, he's a follower, forget it, put him in jail. And I pray, and I've been going through this myself. This, this series has been bringing me on my knees that every one of us can say, I'm an authentic guy. I'm an authentic guy. I'm an authentic disciple. I'm an authentic disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So this is a time of deep reflection, deep self-reflection. हम हर कोई अपने आप को खुदावन के कलाम का जो शीशा है उसमें देखेगा, उस आईने में देखेगा and say, Am I really the real deal? Am I the real deal? And if not, that's okay. That's why God has us here. अगर हम वो नहीं जो खुदावन के कलाम चाहता है कि हम हों जो खुदा के दिल की हाइश है कि हम हों दिस इज लाइक अ बीट अप सेशन दिस इज टू से वाह गॉड यू लव मी सो मच दैट यू आर रियली एड्रेसिंग द इश्यूज ऑफ माय हार्ट मेरे दिल में जो मुश्किलात हैं या शायद वो व्हाट्स व्हाट्स अनऑथेंटिक कोकला कोकला गॉड यू आर एड्रेसिंग दैट इन मी Lord, the, the things that are not real, you're really addressing it. Because nobody likes a fake. Right? Nobody likes a fake. Nobody likes a fake. And God certainly doesn't. And so as we go through this, I pray that this would be a deep reflection for us. So a quick recap, because I understand many of you forgot. 
A disciple of Christ is, this has been going on for two weeks, three weeks. A disciple of Christ worships. Jo khudaman ka sacha shagird hai, wo prastar hai. Wo, wo prastish karne wala hai. Ki baat nahi ho rahi. Not that he's a singer, not that he's a musician, but he's a worshipper of God. Is ke lovesi mani hai, jo khudaman ko awal rakhta hai. One who is a worshipper says, God, you are first. One who is a worshipper says, I'm willing to sacrifice the best thing I have. And we learned about this through the life of Abraham. Abraham ne kaha, ke ye jo mera beta hai, jisse mein dil se pyar karta hon. I love him with all I got. But because I want to worship you, God, I'm willing to give him up. Ye prastish hai. This is worship. Not singing a couple of fast songs and slow songs. Real worship is when we are willing to continually sacrifice for Jesus. When we are willing to sacrifice for Jesus, we are ready to make sacrifice Amen. And so I thank God, many of us, we sacrifice our time, we sacrifice our money, we sacrifice our resources, we sacrifice our homes, we sacrifice our rest. Why? Because God is pleased with that kind of worship. Amen. Then, a worshiper, this is just a recap, this, I'm not preaching on this, or am I preaching already? A worshiper is one who says, Meri marzi nahi balke. Wow, who did we learn that from? Jesus. Jesus himself worshiped the Father. He said, not my will, God, your will. Not my desire, God, your desire. Not what I want, God, but what you want. Oh, I want to go this way like Jonah. I want to do this in my life, but God, you want me to do this. I want to accomplish this, God, but you want me to do this. That is a worshiper. Amen. And one who says, Tu bade or man. That's a worshiper. Who did we hear that from? John. John. I want you to increase and I decrease. Last week we talked about worshiping God through praise. Worshiping God through praise. We are worshiping God but through praise. So we worship God by putting Him first. We worship God by sacrificing for God. Continually we worship God by praising Him through songs and adoration. And this happens both publicly and privately. Ye privately gharo mein bhi hona chahiye. Hamare ghar baar mein bhi hona chahiye. Handani paar mein bhi hona chahiye. Or publicly bhi hona chahiye. Amen. That is why at Trinity we take corporate worship seriously. Amen. So if you miss a week, one of our deacons is going to call you. Why? Because attendance is important. Khudamit ke logo ke saath milkar uski prastish karna, uski ibadat karna, zaruri hai ek sachi shakir ke liye. For, for us to worship together. And so if you miss a Sunday, sorry, everybody misses a week, right? But the deacons are going to call you. And if you miss another week, then they're going to call me. And if you miss three weeks, then somebody's going to visit you. Why? Because corporate worship is important. Someone say amen. amen. And so we have to allow ourselves to worship in such a way. We learned about all this. Amen. We come encounter with the greatest being there is. The greatest being there is. The greatest being there is. Wo jo sab jalal se bhara hua hai. Wo jo khud jalal hai. The glory that no one can stand. Khuda baap khud takht nishin ho jata hai. Jab hum uski prastish karna shuru karte hain. Another thing that happens, ke khuda beta, khuda man ka jo beta hai, Yetsu, he is lifted up. Or kalam mein likha hai, when he is lifted up, all will be drawn to him. I made a statement, more people come to God, more people turn to God, not from apologetic teachings. Kisi sa dhaad ke, kisi sa dhaas karna, no one comes to God. But if they are in a place where authentic worship is happening, something's going to happen inside of them. They're going to start moving. They're going to start clapping. God is going to start pulling them towards.
forge themselves. Amen. And then the Holy Spirit works. This is the triune God. Amen. I hope you were learning something the last couple of weeks. God the Father is enthroned. God the Son is lifted up. Then the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, people are worshiping God. Amen. If an unbeliever comes, and there's authentic worship happening. Conversions take place. Amen. Amen. Why? Because the Holy Spirit. I tell you, it's hard to preach unless you have worship. Amen. So people who come, and you can't, you can't preach unless the throne is set. You could try. You're not preaching. You can't preach unless Jesus is lifted up. And you certainly can't preach if the anointing of the Holy Spirit is not there. Amen. And the Quran is written that the Messiah is broken. It is by the anointing of the Spirit that the yokes break. And so, the first thing we learn is that a disciple is a worshiper. A disciple, which is the truth of God, वो प्रस्ता है वो कहिए वो अब आप अपने पड़ोसी को बता सकते हैं क्योंकि अब आपको याद हो गया है तो अपने पड़ोसी को बताइए खुदावन का शगिर्द एक प्रस्ता है खुदावन का शगिर्द एक प्रस्ता है a disciple of Christ worships there it is a disciple of Christ a, come on a disciple of Christ a disciple of Christ the second thing, a disciple of Christ walks with God. A disciple of Christ walks with God. I'm going to make it real easy because every statement is going to be a W statement. Alright, that's how my outline is. The first is, worships God. The second is, walks with God. If I am an authentic disciple, there has to be evidence that I actually am walking with God. Amen. We just read about Enoch. Enoch walked with God. Oh, Amen. He wasn't running ahead of God. He wasn't running away from God like Jonah. The Bible says he walked with God. He walked, he walked with God. It's important that we learn to walk with God. Something I learned recently, I, it came to my knowledge on Thursday night. Thursday, Thursday night. Jumerat ki sham ko kisi ne mujhe kaha it, there's a new type of work that has just kind of come out. There's a new line of work that's picking up popularity in many cities and states of America. America may, but every shadow may, it nea kaam has. Some of y'all might be interested in this. Hear me clearly. Basically, it's a walker that you hire for yourself. Oh, <laughs> it, it, this is how it works. Everybody familiar with how Uber works? Right? Uber, how it works. You know, Lyft, like a Pakistan, Siafan, Kareem, right? Right, right? You know how it works. So basically, if I want to walking, I want to go to the park or track, I'll go to the local park, I'll go to the track, and I'll take out my phone, this is a real thing. This is a real thing. And I'll start my app. And whoever is in that part, who does that work, they will come up to you. They will come up to you. You will accept. 
And they will come and they say, hey, are you Uzzer? I'll say, yes, I am. Okay, let's go for a walk. And they will walk with you. Or har meal pe aap unko das ya baana dala ya pandra dala denge. It's a real thing. It, it's a real thing. And students are taking advantage of this. Colleges may, universities may. Because we need somebody to walk with us. People don't like to walk alone. So they hire someone to walk with them. It's a legit thing. Look it up. You can download the app and they'll walk with you. Now there are some advantages. I, I was thinking about it. First I thought it was kind of crazy. Then I was thinking about it. First thing is, the advantages that I thought. <clears throat> Let's say you had a bad day at work. At work you had a really bad day. Well, whoever is walking with you, you can just tell them. They're walking with you. Another thing is, advantage that I thought. Okay, what if you work late? late hours, So that app is actually quite effective. Why? Because there's a sense of Safety. There's a sense of safety. Here's the thing. <clears throat> and I thought this was crazy. How can you walk with someone that you don't know? But isn't that how so many people walk with Jesus? We have a sense of safety because he's with us. Okay. But we don't really know him. We have a sense of if I had a bad day, just like the person who walks with you, but we don't really know him. That's a strange concept. The, per the person is providing you a lending ear, but still, it's someone you don't know. Go ahead, let me know, let me know. But you don't really know them. It's a strange concept. They're, they're providing you with a sense of safety, Walk with safety, provide a sense of peace of mind, but still you don't know them. But many are walking with Christ, but He's still someone they don't really know. They're walking with Christ. Ha ha ha, hum si hai. Yes, yes, yes. Hum si hi hai. Ji, ji, ji. Wo humari mushkara dur karta hai. When I need someone, when I need something, mujhe healing chahiye, yeah, I walk with Jesus. I, I, I need this break. Yeah, Jesus is with me. But we don't really know who we're walking with. Amen. So what does it mean to walk with God? Write this down. To rightfully acknowledge Jesus for who he is. That I acknowledge him for who he is. I acknowledge him for who he is. Is that, is that the right translation? No, that's right. Acknowledging someone for who they are. Now, I wrote down some funny things. Let's try to understand this in the natural. Natural nisko something. We'll get there. It's all going to come together in a few minutes. Unless a woman accepts a man as her husband, it's not really easy to walk on the journey of marriage. Agar koi aurat apne mat ko thik tarike se apna shohar na mane, to uske saath chalna mushkil hai. 
Just nod your head if you agree. <laughs> if someone doesn't acknowledge you as their spouse, if a woman doesn't acknowledge you as you're married to her, but she doesn't acknowledge you as her husband, the journey is going to be very hard. Unless a man accepts a woman as his wife, it's not easy to walk. What if a husband acknowledges the woman as his wife just for benefits, but not completely? These are the benefits I'm getting. We know what the benefits are of marriage, praise the Lord. We'll get the benefits, we'll take the benefits, but nothing else. Or kisi cheez mein teri dakhal andazi, andaz of kya ho Right? I don't want interference in any other thing. Don't talk to me about money, don't talk to me about finance, don't talk to me about how to raise the kids, don't talk to me what I, I should. I, you know what? You are just there for my pleasures and for my benefits. The journey is going to be very hard. Let me put it this way. It actually might be impossible to carry the journey. Marriages will break. Johan Dan hai, wo toot jayenge. Hang on, hang on. I can't live with you. Main to tere saath nahi reh sakti. Kyun? Because you don't acknowledge me as your wife. How about this? Ek ladka, ek ladki ke paas aata hai. You know this. I love you. I love you to the moon and back. <laughs> I'll give you the stars. I'll give you the moon. Or ladki kya kahe? Main bhi tumhe pyar karti hu, lekin ek bhai ki mana. They're not going to be able to walk because he's acknowledging something that she is not. So what I just said and everybody laughed, it's like she friend-zoned him. Unless we acknowledge someone for who they are, we cannot walk with them. Agar hum kisi ko acknowledge hi nahi kar rahe ki tu kaun hai? Tera meri zindagi mein kya hissa hai? What's your role in my life? Who are you in my life? Meri zindagi mein tere significance kya hai? Agar Mia apni biwi ko ya biwi apne Mia ko wo jagah nahi deti, wo acknowledgement nahi dete jo unki hai, they cannot walk together. So if someone does not acknowledge the rightful place of the other, it becomes difficult to walk. If children do not acknowledge the rightful place of their parents, it will make it difficult to walk. If we do not acknowledge the spiritual authority God has placed over us, it will make it difficult to walk. If we don't acknowledge the rightful place of our colleagues or superiors at work, it makes it difficult to walk. Same is with God. If we do not acknowledge Christ, in his rightful place, it is difficult to walk with him. Then you're not really walking with him. I am not really walking with him. We're not really in a good relationship. Women, think about it. And that she is my wife. How hard is it for you to agree on things and walk? It's impossible. So agar natural rishto mein ye nahi ho sakta. Agar miya bibi ek dusre ko thik jaga nahi dete, to ye nahi ho sakta. Agar bache apne valdein ko thik jaga nahi dete, or ye nahi ho sakta. Agar ham apne superiors ko apne se nicha samajhe, unko achhi ya thik jaga nahi dete, ye nahi ho sakta. To hudaamat ke saath ye kaisa ho sakta hai? Ki ham usko wo jaga na de, jo uski hai, aur fir bhi hum kahein ki ham uske saath chal rahe hain. We're not. We're not walking with him. We're not in a real relationship with him. Who am I speaking to right now? 
Are we walking with God? क्या हम उसके साथ चल रहे हैं So the question to ask is, what is the rightful place of God? मुझे पूछिए, what is the rightful place of God? खुदाम जिस मुसी की दुरुस्त जगह पर क्या है What is his rightful place? What is his rightful place? First, understand he is God. Yesu Khuda hai. Yesu Khuda hai. He's not just some person. He's not just some prophet. Wo koi nabi sirf nahi hai. Wo koi rasool nahi hai. Wo koi sirf acha rabi nahi hai. He's not just some good teacher. He wasn't just a morally right man. The Bible tells us he is the son of God. Amen. The first thing, if you want to have your relationship, if you want to walk correctly with God, अगर हम खुदावन के साथ ठीक और दरुस तरह से चलना चाहते हैं, तो ये recognize करें, ये acknowledge करें कि यीशु खुदावन का इकलौता बेटा है। He is the Son of God. Amen. He has caused all things to come into existence. उसकी वजह से हर चीज वजूद में आई। Nothing came into existence without God's consultation and His involvement. हर चीज को उसने बनाया है। हर चीज को उसने अपने लिए बनाया है। You can read that in Colossians. जब इंसान ने गुनाह किया और बाप और इंसान के दरमियान एक दीवार आ गई, यीशु ने आकर उस खलाफ को मिटाया है। That is the rightful place of Jesus. कि हम कहें कि अगर हमारा उदार के साथ रिश्ता है, तो सिर्फ और सिर्फ यीशु मसीह की बिदालत है। Amen. If we can talk to God, it's because of Jesus. If we can pray to God, it's because of Jesus. If we can have a fellowship with God, it's because of Jesus. Amen. Jesus took the form of man. I'm going to get into some doctrine now. Acknowledging his rightful place. He took the form of a man. It wasn't some man, and the Talim is very, very wrong, that he was a very calm person, a very nice person, and then when he came to the Lord, he became the Lord. No, 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 no. He was God when he was in the belly. Amen. When he was in the belly, he was God. This is the right place. When we say Jesus, our heart should, should shake. When we take Yeshua's name, how do we take Yeshua's name? He doesn't take the people of his name. हम ही उसके नाम की इज्जत नहीं करते, हम ही उस नाम को ऊंचा अपनी जिंदगियों में नहीं होने देते। He is the Son of God. He took the form of man. He is the Lamb of God. वो खुदावन का पाक बर्दा है, जो हमारे लिए भेजा गया। He is the giver of life. वो जिंदगी देने वाला and the sustainer of life. और जिंदगी को कंट्रोल में रखने वाला खुदा है। He is the one through whom we have salvation. नजार सिर्फ और सिर्फ और सिर्फ यीशु के वसीले आई। Amen. He is the righteous judge. I, I'm going to keep talking about Jesus. Amen. Can I do that? The Bible tells us he is the rose of Sharon. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the lily of the valley. He is the prince of peace, the mighty God, everlasting father. He's the alpha. He's the omega. He's the seed of Jesse. He's the bread of life. He's the true vine. He's the victor over death and sin. His life is righteousness. He is the truth, the life, and the way. He's eternal. He's seated with Jesus. Somebody help me acknowledge Jesus right now. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. Anything less than that, you're not acknowledging him. He's not our boyfriend. He's not our guy on the side. He's not our checklist. He's not. He's God. He's righteous. He is the Lamb of God. Don't take Jesus lightly if you are a disciple. Amen. Khudaman ka iklota beta. That's Jesus. Who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus to you? How significant is Jesus to you? What is his place? What is his acknowledgement? Agar ek bivi ko apni jaga nahi milti ghar mein. The whole house is... All, everyone's gonna hear about it. 
अगर शोहर को वो ठीक जगह नहीं मिलती अपनी बीवी की नजरों में एवरी वन गोइंग टू फील इट एंड हियर इट अगर माँ बाप को वो जगह नहीं बच्चे देते एवरी वन गोइंग टू हियर अबाउट इट ये We don't give Jesus his rightful place. Yesu ko wo mukam hum nahi dete jo uska hai, jiske liye wo salib par chada, jiske liye wo zameen par aaya, jiske liye usne guna sab 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 rap. He took it upon himself. How can we say we're walking with Jesus when we ain't really acknowledging Jesus? He is not our walker for hire. He's not the man that we hire, like they're doing in New York and in California. आपने walk कर रहा है मेरे साथ ठीक है मुझे घंटे के हिसाब से आप hire करते हैं. Sunday को हम डेढ़ घंटा यीशु के साथ जरूर चलते हैं. No, no, no. He's God. Amen. So the first thing we must do is acknowledge His rightful place. What does it mean to walk with God? Acknowledge Jesus in His right. For place, what does it mean to walk with God? Acknowledge Jesus in His rightful place. What does it mean to walk with God? Acknowledge Jesus in His rightful place. What does it mean to acknowledge God? <laughs> See, just checking if you are listening. What does it mean to follow God? Acknowledge Jesus in His rightful place. The second thing, we must be in agreement with His word. अगर हम उसके साथ चल रहे हैं तो ये लाजमी है कि हम उसके कलाम से मुतफिक हों वी मस्ट बी इन अग्रीमेंट गो विद मीन टू द बुक ऑफ एम एस हम उसकी किताब तीसरा बाब तीसरी आए एम एस चैप्टर थ्री वर्स थ्री द बाइबल सर यॉ हियर मी से दिस क्वाइट ऑफ एन आई से दिस वर्स आई लिव टू दिस वर्स It helps me live. The Bible says, "Can two walk together except they be in agreement?" Kya do ikatthe chal sakte hain agar wo mutafik nahi? Can two walk together unless they are in agreement? No. Kya me bhi me me bhi bhi? Kya me? See, because I translated in my head. Y'all don't know the struggle. <coughs> मैं पहले इंग्लिश में सोचता हूँ फिर उर्दू में ट्रांसलेट करता हूँ फिर उसको भूलता हूँ बोलता हूँ कमा कैन हजबेंड एंड वाइफ वॉक टूगेदर देर इन एग्रीमेंट इफ देर नॉट इन एग्रीमेंट दे कैन वॉक टूगेदर दे कैन दे कैन आई नो आई नो सम मैरिजेस कुछ जो अजवाज है मैरिज वो ऐसे हैं किसी ने कहा कि जैसे एक पटरी के दो लाइनें नहीं होती वो दोनों एक ही तरह जा रहे हैं पर कभी मिलती ही नहीं मैरिज फॉर सम इज लाइक दैट बट वी आर नॉट वॉकिंग टुगेदर अनलेस वी आर इन एग्रीमेंट वी आर नॉट टेकिंग आवर किड्स टू देयर पोटेंशियल हम वी आर नॉट पेरेंटिंग इफ वी आर नॉट इन एग्रीमेंट एमेन हाउ कैन वी वॉक टुगेदर द बाइबल एस्क्स अस कलाम हमसे ये पूछता है कि हम कैसे इकट्ठे चल सकते हैं अगर हम मुतफिक नहीं हाउ कैन वी वॉक टूगेदर हाउ कैन यू हाउ कैन आई वॉक विद जीजस इफ वी आर नॉट इन एग्रीमेंट विद हिज वर्ड नो 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 आई बिलीव जीजस आई बिलीव इज माय सेवियर आई डोंट एग्री विद एवरीथिंग दैट्स इन द बाइबल रियली रियली How can we walk with Jesus if we are not in agreement to His Word? We are not. I am not here to sugarcoat it and make you feel like there's still something happening. Because when the Spirit convicted me of this, He didn't hold back. But if we are not in agreement to His Word, we are not. Loved ones, we are not walking with Him. Loved ones, we are not walking with Him. It's hard for me to say this, and I, I I pray that you're not taking this as me being judgmental. And if it is coming that way, that's God's love for you. इतनी उसको आपसे मोहब्बत है कि आज आप ये कलाम सुन रहे हैं. You're listening to this word where God is saying, get in agreement. 
connect with me. Stop playing these games. Stop playing games with me. If you want to walk with me, then get right in agreement with my word. Amen. <clears throat> get right in agreement with my word. Hebrews 4.12 for the word of God is alive. It's alive. Let me stop there. It's not a novel. It's not a historical book. This is the living word of God. Amen. This is the life changing, transforming word of God. It is alive and it is active. Amen. Say it's active. It's active. Just because you have deactivated it in your life does not mean it is not active. Let me help someone because this just ain't Amen. Amen. Imagine this. And you're driving 90 miles an hour down Huntington Pike. Yeah, some of us have fast cars. Praise the Lord. Huntington Pike, yo, but. Say, Giovanni, I am the exact 90 miles out in. And the cop pulls you over. Police on the road, please. Police. Again, we had. Hey, 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 hey. You weren't going according to the law. And you said, I didn't read the signs. He said, okay. Well, maybe you can read the ticket. <laughs> Just because we're not opening our book. We didn't, I didn't read that in there. I can't be held accountable for it. But God's going to say, hang on. Was I not with you to educate you? Oh yes, God, I'm very sad. Good. Kya maine tujhe padhna, padhne ki kabiliyat nahi di? No, no, I, I, I learned how to read when I was a kid. We rejoice. Ham itne khush hote hain jab humare bachche padhna seekh jaate hain. Who padh that? Oh, you know how to read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, why couldn't you read? Just because you're not reading, please understand. That doesn't exempt you from his judgment. We're not exempt just because we refuse to read or the time in that's fine. But you're not exempt. We can't play the card that I didn't know. Because he's going to say, no, 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 I made out I made it available. This is the largest printing book in the in the world. There's no other book that can even come close to it. secular Year after year after year after year. New York's bestseller, New York's bestseller, New York's bestseller. To the point, category category. Amen. That's the word of God. That's the living word of God. And there's no excuse. Of, the Bible says it is living and it is active. It is sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to divide soul and spirit, joint and marrow. It judges the thoughts. You thinking about it? The Bible will judge you on it. It'll judge you. The word of God will judge us. Amen. God wasn't like, I'm going to judge you based on your looks or your appearances. No, no, no. He's like, I'm going to give you a book. And at the end of it, you're going to be judged on this book. Simple as that. Amen. You know, we all know John 3.16. John 3.16. Kya hai? Ke khuda Dunya se. Right? We know that. We know that. Praise the Lord. Memorize this verse too. 2 Timothy 3.16. 2 Timothy? 2 Timothy? The scriptures is God breathed. All scripture. All scripture. Say all scripture. No, 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 no,
یہاں تک کہ کامز بھی اوہ اگر خدا میں نے کسی جگہ پہ کاما بھی لگایا ہے نا تو وہ اپنی حکمت میں لگا جائے Oh, I wish I could preach on when God puts a period and when God puts a comma. Uska kitna wasn't hai. Uska kitna, these are things that, you know what, I mean, musicians might understand this. Ke jaga hum, jaha pe hum khali chhodte hain, jaha pe hum tali chhodte hain, where we leave space, where we leave gaps in the middle of the counts. Khudaman ne bhi apne kalam ko aise liya. Where there's pauses, where there's comma, where there's period, where there's a recycle, everything that God has spoken. In scripture is God breathed. God breathed. Someone tells you, no, a couple of guys got together and wrote the scripture. Kuch log aaye, unhoon ne kaha, chalo, Quran likhte hain. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 60, almost 60 different authors. Itne zyada likhne wale. Aur har ek ka موضوع ہر ایک کا ٹاپک ہر ایک کا سبجیکٹ ایک ہی شخص ہو یسو یہ کیسے ہو سکتا ہے how is that possible that 60 different authors write on something and everybody is pointing to one man Jesus amen it's not possible say it's not possible it's not possible say it's not possible say it's not possible that's possible let this man It's not possible. یہ کیسے ہو سکتا ہے؟ یہ کلام جو ہم پک پکڑتے ہیں Everybody pointing to one Jesus And not only that This is written in different time span یہ نہیں کہ سب ایک کمرے میں بیٹھ کے لکھنا شروع کر دیا No, someone wrote it in this century Someone wrote it in this Someone wrote it through this time And this season And this portion Yet it all aligns کیوں؟ کیونکہ خدا ہم خود اس نے تھا God himself was dictated God himself was moving. God himself was dictating this. Amen? It is useful for teaching. Qudaman ka kalam is useful for teaching. Interestingly, it's useful for teaching, it's useful for rebuking, it's useful for correcting and training in righteousness. In, in righteousness. In righteousness. In righteousness. In righteousness. Zabur 819 or 805 mein aaya your word is a lamp for my feet tera kalam mere raah ke liye roshni and a light to my path aur mere raste ke liye chala your the word of god reveals areas of darkness in our life that we don't even know are dark i'll say that to somebody they catch me خداوند کا کلام ہماری زندگیوں میں ان جگہوں میں روشنی دیتا ہے جن کا ہم کو پتہ بھی نہیں وہ تاریخی میں I don't even know it's God there but his word reveals it I don't even know that's a problem but he reveals it I didn't even think that was wrong مجھے تو نہیں تو پتہ کہ وہ غلط تھا but the word reveals it Amen It's his word, say it's his word. Zabur Akhara, Tisiyan, we sang this song today. As for God, his way is perfect. Uska rasta darust hai. The Lord's word is flawless. Say flawless. There is no error in it. There's no problem with it. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. People are still trying to fix the word of God. It's fine just by itself. Amen. Koi usme galti nahi. Access to the perfect word of God. Perfect. Say perfect. perfect. Say perfect. perfect. Say to the per- person next to you, perfect. Be honest, and I can't imagine what that. Who don't get along with you, but he is a. His word is. خدا مجھے سو کہتے ہیں مطلی کی انجیل اس کے ساتھ میں باپ کی چوبیس ہی آئیت میں everyone who hears these words of mine جو کوئی بھی میرے کلام کو سنتا ہے and puts them into practice and puts them into puts them into practice is like a wise man 
who builds his house on the rock. The Bible never calls someone's experience wisdom. Kisi ke bhi tajarbe ko kalam hikmat nahi kehta. It's good for us. It teaches us. Hamara jo tajarba hai, our experience, it teaches us. Our society, it teaches us. Our exposures, they teach us. But they don't make us perfect. What makes us perfect and righteous is one book, and that's the Word of God. Amen. But not just the listeners, but the doers of it. That's one benefit. Second benefit, I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you, God. I have put your word. See, the more we start to intake God's word, the more the word will help us not to sin against God. Amen. The things that we do that are not pleasing to God, the word from inside out will convict us. Amen. I want you to understand something. We are three, we're we are made this way. We're made in a triune as well. Namely the flesh. Second is our soul. Our soul. Someone say soul. Soul. And then it's our spirit. Our ruh. Everybody sitting here, your spirit. You live inside a body. Now get this. All of your communication that happens between your spirit and your flesh, it happens through your soul. Say soul. communication. From your soul, which is both your conscience and your thoughts and your passions and your zeals and your emotions that makes up your soul that ain't my subject today but i want you to understand why we are emphasizing the word of god today now get this that is the flesh that is the flesh that is your flesh Anything you feel, that is your flesh. How will it communicate that to your spirit? Through your soul. Okay? So, as an example, you decide you're going to watch an un- a immoral film. A Gandhi film. And you're like, you know what, I'm going to watch this film. I know it's not, I know it has bad ratings. I know there's a lot of bad stuff in it, but I'm going to do it. Your flesh communicated to your soul, and now your spirit has breathed. Follow me so you can understand this. Now the spirit also communicates through the soul. Through your soul, it's sending a signal out. Hear me now. That is unrighteous. So the soul communicates back to the flesh. And that's when we go through these thoughts of depression and guilt and all of this. We're like, oh, I feel so bad I did this. But your flesh turns around and says, but it felt good. So the one that gets trampled the most, the sub says, "Yada mar khati hai." Wo kya hai? Our soul. Our soul. Our soul. This is why getting the word of God in our heart is so important. Are you following me? Are you following me? Because your spirit that you are starving. Your spirit that you are depriving, your spirit that is dying, my use job ka ru hota ja raha hai kyu? Kyunki the flesh is winning. Jab aap in cheezon ko badhana, your intake of God's word begins to grow, your spirit will begin to flourish. Amen. That's why the word of God in our life is important. 
Luca Yana Bartais Nyai. He replied, Blessed are they who hear the word of God and obey it. James 1.22. Do not be mere listeners of the word and so deceive yourself. But do it. Say do it. The more we are in God's word, the more our mind begins to change. Please understand, loved ones. It doesn't matter what the experiences have brought you. It doesn't matter what pre-existing dispositions you have about life. The final say and authority is the word of God. Amen. You see, if more of God's people were in God's word, then Christians wouldn't be allowing abortion to be okay. What's missing? Let's talk about the current news. The elephant in the room. New York passed the law. New York passed the law last week. Pichle hafte ye law launch ho gya, pass ho gya. Ke jo maan apne aakhri mahine mein bhi hai. Agar wo chahe ke bache ko abort kar dein, they can do it. And so many people who are professors of faith. Wo ye meyan kar dein hai, yeah, 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 we are Christians. Hum hudaman ke saath chalne wale log hai. They okayed that. But the problem was this. That people have stopped walking with God because they have stopped being in God's word. Because the word of God says they are innocent and God himself will have his vengeance for those who are killed innocently. You're like, oh, well, you know what? It's the, it's, it's, it's the person's body. It's their choice. It's their that. No, it's running away from a, a consequence of their own decisions. And Christians are okaying this. It, it makes us cry out and wonder, are they walking with God? Are they walking with God? Because if they're not upholding the word of God, they're not walking with God. It doesn't matter if it's the political or the social or whatever arena that may be. Agar khudawan ke kalam ko awal darja nahi diya ja raha, there are not authentic disciples. Are we understanding? That's just one. There's so many other reasons, so many other things. Jo bahut safai se khudawan ke kalam kehta hai, ye galat hai. Don't do this. But we're like. It's all right, it's the norm. But the Bible is going to judge us. We will be judged by the word of God. <laughs> the more we get into God's word, our mind begins to change. Our mind begins to change. Let me help you understand something. The world does a, a magnificent job in making our mind think the way they want us to think. Oh, I'm going to get into something right now. I still got time. Amen. Jo dunia hai, wo har tarha se puri koshish mein lagi hui hai ke aap wo cheeze sochein aur un cheezon par yakin rakhein jo wo chahte hain. Okay? They will do everything and they'll start early. They'll start in second grade. They'll start in kindergarten. They'll start in third grade. We have folks that are being taught. Right now, they're being taught that there is no creation. Everything came out of a big bang. Evolution was the way that it came. Stop, those are stops. But they start so early. They say, how can you think like that? How can you think there's no proof? There's no logic. Hold on, hold on. Aap us khuda ki ibadat karte hain. Jisko aap ne kabhi dekha nahi. Oh my gosh, how stupid is that? And they will make you feel small. They will make you feel helpless. They will bully you. They will do whatever they can from a very young age to get you. To get you. Then they will start.
start with this one religion concept, global faith, global religion. So as soon as you enter college, when you start to explore yourself, they'll hit you with this. There's so many ways to God. Har tarah se ji, har koi apni, apni spirituality se chale. Walk in your own understanding of spirit. Agar aapko achha lagta hai, ki aap ek paon pe khade hoon, pura din hudamant ke didar ke liye, aap ek paon pe khade hoon. Agar aapko achha lagta hai, ki seb or, or fruits or ye ye cheeze, kisi devta ke aage rakhe, then go with that. But everything is fine. As long as we love. And in college, they will start infusing this into our children's mind. They'll start doing that. So when we are finally in our, in our time where we can make a change, the devil has derailed us from childhood. And our minds are already made up. Our minds are already made up. We already made up our mind. It's about me. It's about what affects me. It's about how this is going to impact me. Oh, I'm only going this way because it's going to take care of my debt. I'm only doing this because it's taking care of this. I'm only doing this. mind. Our minds are already made up. But the word of God says that when we start taking in his word, it will renew our mind. Amen. Amen. Understand this verse. Renewing is make it new again. Wow, that's not like wow, right? Renew is ki jitni bhi cheez bachpan se aapke dimaag ne corruption dal di gayi hai. The word of God will erase that. It will begin to cleanse those things. It will take that view that it's okay to kill babies as long as you are happy. And he'll begin to say, no, but God has given that life and it is innocent. It will take those thoughts that it's okay to curse your mom if she's out of line and say, no, 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 no. The Bible says that honor your mother and your father. The thought that says, hey, I'll cheat as long as I get, as long as it benefits me, I'll go ahead and do something wrong on my time sheet and I'll I'll cheat and however I have to. Mera fayda ho raha hai. Mat cheating kar bhi raha hoon. To koi baat nahi. Kisi ka kya ja raha hai. This is like a victimless crime. But the word of God will begin to cleanse our mind. And so those who thought it was okay to kill. Now are saying it's not. Romans 12 2. And do not be conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The word of God changes our mind and aligns us to God. It changes our worldview. It changes our understanding of life. If you're not in agreement with God's word, we're not walking with God. Agar hum khudaan ke kalam ke saath muntafik nahi. We're not walking with God. And an authentic disciple walks with God. Joshua 1.8 and I think this is my last <coughs> scripture I want you to take home today. Joshua Pahla Baab This book of the law shall not depart. This was not a suggestion. What did Joshua have to do? Oh, please understand the story of what's happening. Musa, the greatest leader of the Old Testament. The hero patriot of the ages. Jo Israelio ka hero hai. Jo ek patthar ko lathi maata hai, to pani bhai jata hai. Jo apni lathi bhai kulzam ki tana karta hai, aur wo doh hisse ho jata hai. Jo khudaavan se dua karta hai, asman khulta hai, aur man girta hai. Musa ki death ho. Moses died. Over 600,000. Say it with me. How many people? 600,000. Sirap niya bivi bacho ki zimedari nahi musa ke upar. 600. Everybody, get, get with me. I'm not even going to go to the scripture until we're all in this together. Ready? 
He has the responsibility of 100,000 people. Che la global ki uske upar zime dari hai. That's quite, quite, quite busy. Right? Now Moses dies. Moses dies. Hudawan is called Lydia. Or Hudawan is called Lydia. He brought Joshua, my man. Joshua is the man. But Joshua is not the prophet. He was the warrior. Prophet to Obad, when the Hudawan is called Lydia, and he is called the Hudawan is called Lydia. He is called the Hudawan. Prophet. Let's just correct the definition too. Prophet is not the one who says I am a prophet. Prophet is the one who prophesy. Jo Hudaman ka baat bolta hai. That's a prophet. Amen. Simple definition. Simple. Amen. Now get this. Jitni bhi zimedari Musa ke upar ki ab. Musa. Jeshwa. Jeshwa ke upar aage dil kaan. That's a lot of. I want you to understand the weight of responsibility here. In other words, Punjabi ke sunyo. Yeshua Veda nahi si. Zimedari ki. Kin kin cheez ho ki. Jang ki zimedari us Veda. He was the captain of the army. He hadn't assigned anybody yet. Iswa. He's the people's man and he's God's man. Say people's man and God's man. He would take the word from the people to God and God's word to the people. Adar Hudam and God jang ke liye jau. He would be like, alright, let's go. Come on guys, let's go. He was a fighter, he was a warrior, he was doing everything. He was the administrator, he was the, the he did everything. And then God said to him, Ye shariyat ki kitab, tere. So let me ask you, aap kitne busy hai? Sare ko dekhi, damn hi nahi. Achha, aap kitne biviyon ka dhyan rakhne? आप कितने बच्चों में ध्यान रख रहे हैं आप क्या क्या चीजें कर रहे हैं कि खुदाम के कलाम के लिए आपके पास टाइम यशवा के ऊपर बहुत जिम्मेदारी थी हिज शोल्डर मस्त बिन प्रस्ट क्या ये काफी नहीं था कि खुदाम उसके साथ कुछ बोलता है थिंक अबाउट दैट सो मेनी पीपल टाइम यू नो वर्ड Pastor, I don't really read the word. You know, whatever God wants to say, I just feel it on the inside of me. Khudamata mujhe andar se bita deta hai. Abdaam mere saath usne kuch kalam karna hota na, wo mujhe roya nahi dikha deta hai. Kalam karna hota na, wo mujhe mujhe haat nahi dikha deta hai. Kalam karna hota na, wo mujhe is tarah hi kar deta hai. Yeshua ke saath Khudaman bolta tha. Phir bhi Khudaman ne kaha ke shariyat ki kitab tere mo se na. You know what, Pastor? I listen to a lot of podcasts. Shariyat ki kitab tere Moose naade. I listen to a lot of sermons, but Shariyat ki kitab tere Moose naade. Ham to har preacher ko sunte hain, har 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 preacher ko. Subah se leke shaam tak jadu TV chalta rehta hai. Ham bahut bahut preachers ko sunte hain, but Shariyat ki kitab tere Moose na hate. It's not about how many preachers you're listening to. It's not about how many, how much music and worship is going on. Kalam kehta hai ke sab zima dhariyo ke ba vajood bhi jo hukm. Khudaman ne Musa Yeshua ko kaha ho tha. Kalam pada hai. Kalam? 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 Achha, isa ka nahi padna chate. Kalam? Pada hai. Kalam pada hai. Read your Bibles. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Read it daily. Read it twice a day as God. Khudaman, do the fuck? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Jesus, I mean, Bob, there. The only guy who gets me is Caleb. Yes, sub Joanna, they're freshies. Your name for the thing. The old ones are dying. Your name, no, yeah, Khudaman. लेकिन कलाम मुझे इन लोगों के साथ बहुत बिताना चाहिए। ओह, मुझे इनके साथ दुआ करनी चाहिए। मुझे इनको इंस्ट्रक्ट करना चाहिए। 
God's like, no, 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 no. Get in my word. How busy are we? We can't be more busy than Joshua was, are we? हमारे ऊपर no doubt हमारे ऊपर घर की जिम्मेदारी है जाशुआ के ऊपर छह लाख लोगों के घर की जिम्मेदारी उसने हर आदमी को हर कबीले को उनकी जगह देनी थी यू नो हाउ हॉट डायर इज आप नया घर ले लें और बच्चों को बिठा के कहें कौन कौन सा कमरा आपने लेना है आहा। थे दो चार दिन लड़ाई हुए और उसने बारह कबीलों को उनके घर में उनकी जमीने देनी ही हैज टू इंप्लीमेंट द लॉ जो मूसा ने शरीयत में लिख दी हुई बातें थी ही हैज टू गेट द पीपल टू इंप्लीमेंट इट लेकिन फिर भी खुदा ने कहा ये शरीयत की किताब तेरे मुंह से ना I, I, I put some notes in. You shall meditate on it. In other words, you should read it. You should read it. पढ़ें ये तो meditate होगा. Day and night. Some translation says at all times. पर चलें हम इसमें नहीं लेते. Day and night. सुबह उठके रात सोने से पहले. And that you should observe. This word translates and agree. आप किसी चीज को ऑब्जर्व नहीं कर सकते अगर आप उसके साथ मुतफिक नहीं बहुत लोग हैं वो चौदह अगस्त को नहीं ऑब्जर्व करते जब अमेरिका में आ जाते हैं पाकिस्तान नेशनल अकॉर्डिंग टू That is written. Now get this, and then I, for then you will make your way prosperous. No, if I work extra, I will make my way prosperous. अब हम एक आदमी काम कर रहे हैं अगर हम यहाँ भी भी दोनों काम करें then we will be prosperous. अब मैं आठ घंटे काम करता हूँ दस घंटे काम करूँगा then I'll be prosperous. अब मैं night shift कर रहा हूँ जब मैं day shift और night shift और afternoon shift तीनों करूँगा then I'll be prosperous. अगर मैं सिर्फ दो घंटे दिन में सोऊँ करूँ और बाईस घंटे काम करूँ then I'll be prosperous. God is like no 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 no. You want prosperity? Just observe my law. Keep my law. Obey my law. Meditate on my law, and I'll take you on the way of prosperity. Amen. Amen. And then you will have not just regular success. Regular success, har koi le sakta hai. You know why? Because I thought about this first. I was like, why good success? Arm success kya hai? Hamare paas gadi hai. और उसकी हम पेमेंट करते हैं गुड सक्सेस आई गैट द कार एंड ऑल माई गॉड मेक श्योर आई एन इन डेथ सक्सेस जिस चीज को हम सक्सेस अब हमारे पास घर है चार बेडरूम वाला पांच बेडरूम वाला एकड़ जमीन पे वाला घर है दैट सक्सेस द वर्ल्ड सक्सेस गॉड इज सेंग नॉट एम I'll give you good success. अगर आप थोड़ा सा आगे पढ़े हो माई गॉश इट सो गुड तो हमें लिखा है कि मैं तुम्हें वो घर दूंगा जिनको तूने खुद अपने हाथों से नहीं बनाया पोजेस करोगे जिनके लिए तुमने मेहनत नहीं की उन घरों में रहोगे जिनको आपने अपने हाथों से नहीं बनाया उन बागों से खाओगे उन फसलों को खाओगे जिनको तुमने नहीं मेहनत करके उगाया That, ladies and gentlemen, is good success. Amen. That's good success. The other success that we think we have, man, I got this. I'm so successful. Look at my wardrobe. Look at your credit card bill. I'm so successful. I've got the car that I want. But look at the debt you're in. I'm so successful because I've got all this technology and and all of these toys in my house. That's not success. God is saying success is that you are not under the curse and bondage of debt. Amen. That's good success, and the Bible says, "You with me? For then you will make your way prosperous." Come, when you keep God's law, 
when you keep God's law, when you keep God's law, and then you will have good success. <clears throat> Let me close here. <sighs> to be an authentic disciple, we must give Jesus his rightful place. Agar hum uske sachche shagird banana chahte hain, to ye lazmi hai ki hum usko uski jo sahi jagah hai, wo dein. Don't play with God. Second, not just give him his right place, but also agree with him. Khudaamad aap ye kehte hain, mein bhi mukti shakti hoon. Khudaamad aap kehte hain ki ye galat hai, theek hai, mein bhi kehta hoon ye galat hai. God, you are not happy with this. I'm not happy with this. God, your word says don't do this. I won't do this. God, your word says don't don't be a false witness. I won't be a false witness. God, your word says to keep your law and to honor your mother and father. Fine, I'll do that. Your word says do not be consumed with drunkenness, but be filled with the Spirit. Fine, I'll do that. God, your word says that do not live a life that is dishonoring and loose. I won't do that. God, whatever you're saying in your word, I'm agreeing with it. Amen. That's an authentic disciple. And so if you're not in God's word, let me talk to you real straight now. If you don't know God's word, make it a prayer. Please. God's word is bread of life. Read his word. Get into his word. Study his word. Read a chapter, and for some it might be hard. Start with one or two chapters a day. Start memorizing verses. But we don't memorize God's word. Try to memorize it. Because the, the word I have stored in my heart keeps me from sinning. If you miss the, the sermons, I don't want to get into this, but there's Rema and there's Logos. Rema us jo apna kalam. God, I often get messages. People are like, as a family, we sat down, we listened to the word. It is for your benefit. The word of God says, faith comes by hearing. Who needs faith? The flesh, the soul or the spirit? Iman chahiye kisko? Soul. Aapke jism ko iman nahi chahiye. The soul is just a communicator. Your spirit. How are we going to strengthen our spirit? By the word of God that we hear. Amen. That ain't my subject today, but you know I'm going to go there. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. When your faith grows, jab aapka iman bhartta hai, fears go. That's better rhymes. Say it together. When faith grows, say it louder. When faith grows, fears go. When faith grows, fears go. Let's do the action. When faith grows, fear goes. When faith grows, fear goes. Anything that's troubling you, that you are afraid of, my future, my finances, my health, my, my what's retirement, anything that takes away your confidence, the faith that is in you that grows because of the word of God will make that fear go, amen. We'll be fearless, we'll be fearless. When faith grows, the worries go. When faith grows, confidence comes in. Now hear this, this, this is actually the last. Yesaya, Tisra Bab, Bismi or Highlight this in your Bibles. And understand this how it goes. Although the Lord has given you bread for, for, and water of oppression, He, your teacher, will no longer hide Himself, but your eyes will behold your teacher. Now get this. And your ears will hear the word from behind you. Your ears will hear the word from? And it will tell you, 
This is the way. Walk in it. This is the way. Walk in it. When we walk in God's word. जब हमारी जिंदगियों में खुदामंद का कलाम है जब हमने उसके कलाम को अपने दिल में रख लिया है जब हमने उसके ऊपर दिन और रात तो की है अगर हम अपने रस्ते से हट जाएं, तो पीछे से आवाज आएगी कि ये रास्ता है इस पर जाओ वर्ड ऑफ गॉड वो ब्रिंग यू बैक The word of God will bring you back home. Let's stand to our feet.